I'm not sure if you guys can hear Henry over there on the couch. He's looking out the window, patrolling the block, making sure everything everything going how it's supposed to be going, you know what I mean? So don't ever try to creep up because Henry going to see you. You know what I'm saying? Henry. Good boy. It's okay. It's okay, good boy. It's okay. What's going on, y'all? Buttery Workshop back with another episode. Today, I'm going to be showing some of the pieces I recently picked up from Random Golf Club. Now, if you are familiar with Random Golf Club, it is a global community of local golfers. I got hooked on Random Golf Club from the YouTube channel, watching the Breaking Series, watching the Scratch Golf Show, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm deep into the world of Random Golf Club, even listening to the podcast. It's exactly the type of content that gets me fired up to go out and play and listen to golf stories and just, you know, it satiates my golf appetite. And I feel like I found a, a community of like-minded folks that view the game through different perspectives and are really striving to democratize the world of golf and bring the game to more people. So shout out to Random Golf Club. But in this episode, we're gonna be looking at some of the pieces I got. And this is actually a hoodie that is from a recent collection. It's the Chain Stitch Collection. So I'll do a little close up of the other crew neck sweatshirt that I got. That's from the same collection. So you can see all the intricate details. But this hoodie is so fire, bro. Like this, you gotta give, you gotta give credit where credit is due. Because this is not just a standard hoodie, at least not from my perspective. I haven't come across this hoodie out in the wild with this sort of, uh, this cuffing, which really has like a vintage, vintage sizing. I know this is weird. We're talking about the sizing of cuffs on a hooded sweatshirt. But if, if you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Like it's even got that nice little washed out look that makes it look like this has been, you know, loved and cherished for, many many wash cycles but i love the color of this online it actually looked red and then when i received the package it said this was a rust color i'm sure did it say red on the website but this is like a red clay like i would describe this as almost like a brick color you know what i'm saying like bricks come in all various shades of red but that's that's how i would describe this this is like a red brick colorway and the fit is just phenomenal like this is yeah, this is perfect. They have models and they show what size they're wearing. But I think for this hoodie in particular, they showed a woman that was wearing an XL and it looked a little bit oversized, but I normally wear an XL and this fit is absolutely perfect. You also see the little detail right there, the palm tree with the golf club coming down. <sighs> chef's kisses, chef's kisses. But I picked up a few more items. So. I should add that I picked up all these items when they were having a master's weekend sale. So it was 30% off of all of these items. And I believe a few items may have been marked down. It was an additional 30% off, something like that. I don't know. Either way, I went crazy and I'm really happy with my pickups. I've got this valuables pouch with this beautiful scene. Just looking at this is mesmerizing. And this is a little bit bigger than I was anticipating, but it's a good size. I could throw my wallet in here. It also has a little extra zippered compartment in there. So I could put my keys, I could put my watch, my wallet, and any other little valuables I have when I'm putting them in my golf bag prior to starting my round. Has this nice little RGC logo on the back. And it is rubberized, which is a really nice touch. The same goes for Random Golf Club on the tab on the front there. But this is a beautiful scene. Every time I see this pouch, I'm gonna be like, damn, that's beautiful. Like it might, it might bring a little thug tear. And I don't know where this hole is, if this hole actually exists somewhere, but if it does, you're hearing it here first. I will go to this course and I will take this photo with my valuables pouch up there. And I'm just gonna be like, full circle, full circle moment. I, dream I dreamt of a day like this. Got this valuables pouch and in the valuables pouch, I got the snowball divot repair tool. But wait, but, 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 but wait, there's more. There's a magnetic ball marker. And when you take off that little ball marker, you got snowball with a little tongue out. RIP to snowball, man. I was devastated when I, when I seen that. I have two little multi-poos, a, a Maltese and a multi-poo. So I have, you know, my little 
multi poo head cover here. I have my snowball putter head cover here. Like it's all it's all multi poo little white dog Bichon Freeze edition over here. So when I seen this little divot repair tool, I, I didn't even it wasn't even a second thought. Like it was instantly in the cart. So love this. Definitely gonna come in handy. Um, I also picked up a few of their golf gloves. I've been contemplating ordering these gloves for a little while now because the colors just look super, super buttery. Like, look at this. You know, we, we, we all, if you golf, you know, the, the glove options are pretty limited. They're limited and they're not limited at the same time. Like if you go to Dick's Sporting Good or any sort of golf shop, this will be your standard glove. White, you'll find them in black. You might find some in brown. Uh, you might find little different hits of different colors, but this is the glove that I've been using. Not super crusty, but you know, it gets the job done. Nice little, nice little Callaway glove. But these RGC gloves, like look at this. It's like a nice eastery yellow color. And you also got a little RGC badge on the, uh, on the Velcro spot there. Also a little RGC tag, lots of, lots of nice little intricate details. Now, here's the glove on hand. And I haven't been able to take these gloves out on the course yet, but my initial impression is that the leather is slightly thicker than what I'm used to on the glove that I was most previously using or most recently using. And even just looking at the construction a little bit, let me see if I could show y'all. We could do a little compare and contrast. You could see that the stitching is more visible here, whereas on this glove, it's sort of rolled in and stitched on the inside. I'm not a manufacturing expert. I don't know how to, uh, the right terms for this, but uh, the construction is a little bit different. This does feel a little bit thicker. It is still a nice soft leather, so. Um, we'll definitely have some more feedback once you actually take these out on the course, but the colors are, come on, it's undeniable. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up perfectly, but this is like a very light banana pudding color. There's also a baby blue glove, but it was sold out in my size. There's also a standard white glove, but I ended up picking up that little banana pudding color and this light gray. Like this, this just looks icy. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you see me out there with the, ah, like, ah. Yeah, yeah, that's clean. And again, you see the RGC badge, you see the tag. Overall, very nice fitting glove. And yeah, it's a glove, true to size. Go with your standard size, whatever that is. Also, came in this little bag. I try to show it, but. I'm liking all of the little details. This is a product of Random Golf Club designed in California, all the good stuff. But I also picked up a head cover for my driver. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the, uh, ooh, almost knocked it over, of the head cover that came with this driver. It's like, what, what is that doing for me? It's doing nothing, especially when I have my little multi-poo head cover, I got the snowball putter head cover. There was a driver head cover uh, from this snowball collection, but I wasn't able to get it, unfortunately. So I picked up this head cover, which has a nice little mantra or saying on here that I would love to have in mind when I'm reaching for my driver. The game is in your mind, play it well. And I've heard, I've heard various iterations of uh, sayings like this as it pertains to golf, like the golf is 90, the game is between your ears or something. Y'all you know, know what I'm talking about. So picked up this driver head cover. Again, came in, nice branded bag, random golf club, whole nine. I actually haven't tried this on my driver yet, so hopefully it fits. Come on, bing bong. And now we're in action. I actually didn't look at the inside, but give you all a little glimpse of the material on the inside of that driver cover. 
think I can, I can rest assured that uh, my driver will be protected. And um, last but certainly not least, I picked up the crew neck version of this sweater that I'm wearing. This is also from the Chain Stitch Collection, but this is in this golden yellow, ooh, and navy blue, okay. On the website, when I was looking at the images, it looked like this was black stitching, but it's actually navy blue. So let me get the tag out the way for y'all. Check that out. I do not have any yellow hoodies, so I feel like this will be a nice little addition to the wardrobe. Again, you've got that chain stitch, palm tree, golf club, little logo on the sleeve there. And since I'm not wearing this one, I can show y'all the tag. Yeah, no, no details are overlooked with any of these pieces. And that's what I have come to expect from Random Golf Club. So that's it for the pieces that I picked up. I, I'm, I'm over the moon with everything I got. I definitely, definitely, definitely highly recommend y'all checking out Random Golf Club on YouTube. Go to the website, become a member. I've got my little membership tag here and it's a really great community of golfers and especially on the app, you'll be able to find people to play with locally and uh, find opportunities to potentially go and shoot with Random Golf Club. So enter all those raffles, do what you gotta do. I think if I had to, if I had to add one more thing to my closing remarks here, it would be go out, try golfing. It's something you could do for the whole duration of your life, God willing. And there, there are many life lessons to learn on the course. At the very, very, very minimum, you're gonna find and meet interesting people to talk to, enjoy some time outdoors, get some fresh air, and uh, try your hand at something new. And yeah, it, it's, gonna, it's gonna break your heart sometimes. Not break it, but you're gonna be out there. There are times when I'm out there and I'm like, man, I hate this fucking game. <laughs> Uh, you have these uh, these near golf experiences. I heard that I heard that mentioned on the Random Golf Club podcast, where something goes better than you could have ever imagined. And you're like, all right, all right, all right. I, I think I think I could keep doing this for a little bit. So keep chasing those near golf experiences. Let me know if you saw anything you would have cop. Let me know if you saw anything that you would not cop, and let me know if you see anything on the Random Golf Club website that I should have paid more attention to. And I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.